Hi everybody, it's Tim with Engadget, and this is the Terrafugia Transition. This is the flying car that you've heard so much about, and uh, this is its major auto show debut. We're going to give you a quick walk around the car here, uh, but we should specify this actually isn't a flying car so much as it is a plane that you can drive. They're being very specific to make sure that people understand that this isn't necessarily something that you're going to want to be driving every day to the airport and flying. The idea here is more about having something that you can fly into a civilian airport and then drive home from there. There's a lot of issues with people who own planes of actually getting from the airport to where they want to go, whether it's a short trip to an airport or back home. And uh, with something like this, you can just land and then fold up the wings and you can make it home back to, uh, to where you started, which is much easier than trying to have a car at every garage that you're going to go to. So again, this is a plane that you can drive. We've got a four-cylinder horizontally opposed engine here in the back, which has a push propeller that's located between the vertical stabilizers here. As you can see, the wings fold up. They're in their current folded position. This is the position that it would be in when you drive the thing as a car. They fully extend out when you want to take off. The body is made of a carbon fiber, and uh, most of the suspension components are made of aluminum with titanium linkages, so you don't have to worry about corrosion so much in the winter time, which is certainly something that you don't have to worry about with your average aircraft. Now let's go ahead and take a step inside the car here so that you can see what the inside looks like. We've got a two-seat inside configuration, which is required for the uh, Sportlight aircraft certification. We've got a full glass cockpit here in the middle, which gives you uh, actually a virtual terrain indication as well. So if you happen to be flying in inclement visibility, you can still see what's going on. GPS is built in here as well. You can see the dashboard, which is uh, not too dissimilar from a car. Now you've got the big steering wheel here, of course, which isn't going to do you much good in the air. So down here is the flight yoke, which folds up and locks in place for when you need to be in the air. In terms of controls, we've got a center throttle, which you can use when you're in the air. You also get this gear position lever. Over on the right to the top would be park. If you move it to the left all the way forward, that would be when the power is going to be sent to the propeller. We pull it back and the thing shifts into drive mode for the road. And it is at that point a rear wheel drive car. The propeller is not in use when you're driving on the ground. And of course, if you want to deploy the wings, those controls are right here, along with things like turn signals and other controls, as you can see, which you would need for both an aircraft and a car. Now, the thing is going to be rather pricey, $279,000, but that is pretty much in line with something like a Cessna 172 or your average general purpose civilian aircraft. So in terms of cost, it's actually not that much more than your average aircraft. Plus, you can drive the thing, which is a uh, unique advantage, and it is, we think, pretty damn interesting looking. So again, this is the Terrafugia Transition at the New York Auto Show, available next year in limited quantities. 2014, we'll be looking at a greater production.